Hello guys, welcome to Sovereign Solutions to the Brown Channel. We are here solutions to all your Sovereign problems. It's nice to have you in class again today, our moving. On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to carry out um, NDVI or how to calculate NDVI in ArcGIS, right? Good. Now, it simply stands for Normalized Difference and Vegetation Index, right? Good. It's a numerical indicator that assesses the health and density of vegetation based on satellite data, right? Good. So it is um, calculated based on, or it's calculated using the difference between the near infrared and the red light and reflectance, right? Good. So these are the two parameters used to calculate what's your NDVI, right? Good. So the formula for Landsat 8 is that um, we have um, the band 5, which represents your near infrared ray, minus what the band 4, which is what your red divided by the same band 5 plus band 4, right? Good. So this is what the formula for calculating what this um, index using a uh, Landsat 8 data, right? Now there are different, or let's, there's an interpretation here that the high NDVI value typically indicates LD vegetation values ranging from minus one to plus one and values closer to one suggest dense LD vegetation. So as we proceed, we are going to see how this word applies so we are back to agis good so let's um, import our data we have them here so we can easily select all of them then drag and drop right good so we just drag them and drop them here good so we have our satellite um, images and um, imported to what um, agis right good so you can actually connect them to a folder and then um, import them as well or maybe add data or whatever the case is. So the next thing is for us to come down to Act Toolbox, then go to Spatial Analyst Tool, then we go to what's a map algebra, then we see what the raster calculator. Remember, you can still search for it um, using what the search option, right? Good. So it's the raster calculator that um, we are going to use to perform this um, calculation, right? With that, the band 5 minus band 4 divided by what? Band um, 5 plus band 4, right? Good. So before we impute what the parameters, let's use the float, right? Good. So we come down to float. Then we now search for band 5. minus band four we come out of the bracket divided by right good so we have them um, float again then we have band five plus band four right so you see basically the inputs are band five and what band four right good so for the numerator, it's adding, sorry, subtracting them. For the denominator, it's what it's adding, right? Good. So this is just um, a simple way to understand what the, the formula to use. So having done that, you can decide to navigate to a folder where you want to save, or you can leave it as what is scratch layer, right? Good. So let's um, leave it as a scratch layer, and then we click on OK. It's running. Good, we have a success status, right? Good, the raster calculator is done. So we have our NDVI. Let's um, just change this to NDVI so that we can work with it easily. So we have our values ranging from um, 0.62 minus um, 3.8, right? Good. So before that, let's change the color RAM to something that would make us appreciate. Okay, I think this is fair enough. Good. So now we have. Um, this um, color representing what the different um, index, right? Good, or different indices. Now let's come back to our guide. Now from our guide, we said high positive values close to one indicates LD and dense vegetation. That's um, for forest, crops, and areas with um, abundant plant cover. Now values around zero suggest um, non-vegetated surfaces bare soil, water bodies, built up areas, then negative values, low negative values, close to minus one, um, associated with um, non-vegetated surfaces like barren land or urban areas, right? Good. So now 
we are going to come back to adjust then let's see double click to properties good now under the symbology let's use them um, classified and then we are going to reclassify these to about four or three classes let's say four then we classify right good now you can use different methods you can manually impute where you want your break values to be or you can say automatically they should be at equal intervals right good so depending on what you want to use remember you have your maximum that's the i then you have your minimum right good so depending on the specification you have maybe how you want your data to be presented I would rather use um, the equal interval on today's tutorial. You can use manual or whatever you want to use. Then um, click on OK. So these are the break values, right? Good. Click on OK. Then change the color ram to color ram to this, right? Good. So from our note, good. So from our notes, we have um i positive values indicates ld dense vegetation right good so good so let's keep it this way now for the i positive values we have them point um, 37 or point 382 point 63 um so we have um, those values closer to one um ld vegetation the color green then um when the values are coming closer to zero so these two values can be classified as such but um they are still um different colors representing them then we now have what the low negative values that uh, values closer to what's minus one often um, associated with non vegetated surfaces right good so we have the red right good so we just have to show the both um, screen so that um, you have um, a visual um, appreciation of the the symbols and then the ranges right good so i haven't done that let's say bear it or let's say urban settlement right good then you can change this to ld vegetation then you can also change this um, other class to crops forest then this um, class in between let's just say barren lands or whatever the case is right good so you can give them these labels um alongside what they arrange and then the symbol right good so we just um, apply click on ok you can see what it on our layers and then you know if you also want to have um, a better perspective you can also overlay it um, on land use land cover data to see how what how they appear right good so thanks for coming to class we hope we have shown you how to use them um, actually to calculate the NDVI of um, Landsat 8 image, right? Good. And then we have given you quite some notes from the from the meaning to what it stands for, normalized difference vegetation index, and then the bands combination or let's say the bands um, computation, right? Good to use to get the NDVI and then what the values represent, right? Good. So thanks for coming to class. We are going to see you on the next one. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.